you are in a problem now. You have dedicated your life to Jesus Christ. You heard about fasting. I guess for some problems that we get into, you heard that we need to fast. So you ate nothing and drank nothing for three days straight. And you are very happy about it. But as it seems, you are still having the same problems, the same troubles. As it seems, nothing really changed. You are very confused about it, and you may wonder to yourself, what should you do? Well, let me ask you a question. Who told you to stop fasting? Am I telling you to fast for 28 days straight? I am not saying that. Am I telling you to fast for the whole year? I am not saying that. Fast as much as you can. Maybe you can fast three days straight. Maybe you can fast one week straight. Hey, maybe you can fast hours a day, maybe 18 hours a day. Do what you can. Maybe this week you will fast and maybe you will skip the next two weeks. Maybe, I guess with some people, they say on their fast, they may cut out sugars and this and that, but they may still eat. Do something. Fast as often as you can. There is something I am praying for. There is something I am doing to get what I want. And I will continue doing it. Stop being discouraged when you have prayed so much and when you have fasted so much and you still don't have what you want. Continue fasting. Continue praying. You may not be able or you may not be willing to fast a lot all at one time. Break it up in pieces. Does that make any sense? Let's say that you have to do yard work. And let's say that it is so much. You have to mow the lawn. You have to edge. You have to plant flowers. You have to remove a fence. You have to do this. You have to do that. And you may look at it and you may become so overwhelmed. Well, you don't have to do everything all at one time. Maybe for this month, maybe you can focus on cutting the grass. Maybe next month, you can focus on removing the fence or doing this or doing that. Like, break it up in pieces. I believe if you break it up in pieces and do some here, some there, some here and there, I think it will make things easier. And I believe you can take the same approach with fasting. You don't have to fast very long in a short time period, if I am saying that right. Maybe you can do a day for this week, maybe two days the next week or skip that month and do some here, do some there. Maybe after a while, you may be able to do it for three days straight or whatever else. What I am saying, make this a lifestyle. Maybe what you are praying for will take a bit of time. And there is nothing wrong with that. Stop thinking inside of your head that you only have to pray just a little. You only have to fast just a little. Do it as much as you have to to get what you want. I believe that is logical, right? It reminds me of the parable. 
if I am saying this correctly, maybe I should look it up first, but um, the unjust judge and the widow. Actually, let's go to it. Luke chapter 18, verses 1 through 8, verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Verse 2, saying, There was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded men. So there was a judge who was... I would say evil, right? Verse 3, And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of mine adversary. Verse 4, And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard men. Verse 5, Yet because this widow troubleth me, I will avenge her at last by her continuing, continual coming, she weary me. So what this is saying, hey, this widow is giving me too many problems. This widow keeps on coming to me over and over again. So let me do what she is asking for. Verse 6, And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. Verse 7, And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? Verse 8, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Never, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. So this pretty much goes with what I am saying. If you have fasted or something and it seems like nothing is really changed or maybe it have changed some, huh, continue fasting, right? Continue praying. Find occasions as often as you can to fast and pray. Does that make any sense? Like, don't stop and say, oh, it didn't work. It was a waste of time. No, it's not. Continue doing it. Let me stop here. May God bless us.